a propaganda perfect Russian couple, who are enjoying watching the Russian army's international games, receive their prompt to stand, face the camera, and take a photo for purposes of conveying normal life in a confident, victorious Russia. The Russian Defense Ministry has organized the 8th International Army Games, which was was held at military training grounds in several countries. During the Army Games, soldiers and officers representing different arms and services demonstrate their skills and abilities. Russia is represented by units that emerged the winners in the latest domestic national army contests that put to test their professional skills. As a rule, the equipment for the games is provided by the host country, where a particular context is held. For example, most of the participants in the tank biathlon use Russian tanks, while Russian military contestants in China performed in a number of competitions using Chinese equipment. At the same time, China traditionally participates in competitions in Russia and other countries with its own equipment. The squads competed for the title of the best road paver team, the best engineering and assault squad and the best heavy mechanized bridge team at the event hosted at a training ground in Korla, the second largest city in the province of Xinjiang in China. Individuals were required to pass through an obstacle course and solve engineering problems, according to local media reports from Wednesday, August 24. The results of the races will be announced by a panel of judges after the relay stage of the safe route competition takes place on August 25, following a statement obtained by Zenger News from the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. The statement added, the calculations of the pavers and the engineering machine of the clearing were supposed to cover a route with a length of up to 1.8 miles, on which it was necessary to overcome obstacles afford a passage in a limited space, to disassemble the forest debris and in fill turn, in the pits. The engineering assault detachments overcame the assault strip, where it was necessary to carry out landings from a model helicopter, clear a section of road and fort of mines, conduct an assault on a building, crawl under a barbed wire and hit a target with a sapper shovel. Calculations of the heavy mechanized bridge led to a crossing with a length of 40 meters per time. This bridge can withstand a weight of more than 60 tons. As the representative of the Russian team Alexander Cherny noted, the calculations showed a decent result and improved the time compared to 2018, when the Russian team also performed on Chinese equipment. The first international army games took place in 2015 and involve almost 30 countries across the globe that participate in competitions to determine which nation is the most military adept. The annual games are often referred to as the War Olympics, and typically last for two weeks, running from August 13 to August 27 this year. The games feature souvenir shops, a recruitment station as well as a military theme park. This news comes after Russia is reported to have lost 1,924 tanks along with 45,700 military personnel during the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which began on 24 February 2022. The defense ministry in Beijing said China's army, air and naval forces are taking part in the drills, which aim to strengthen military coordination. The Chinese Communist Party-backed Global Times said the exercises this year will focus on possible threats, especially from the US in the Pacific region. China has refused to criticize Russia for its six-month-long invasion of Ukraine and condemned US and European sanctions against Moscow. But it has steered clear of siding with Putin by providing technology and military supplies for Russia's war effort because of the risk of U.S. secondary sanctions. The Chinese role in the drills cannot be seen as support for Russia over the conflict, said Vasily Kashin, a Russian military expert at Moscow's Higher School of Economics. It just shows us that the military-to-military -military ties are going on as usual. Russia's ally Belarus is also taking part in Vostok 2022 along with the former Soviet republics of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Armenia, Azerbaijan and Tajikistan and other states including Syria, Algeria, Mongolia, Laos and Nicaragua. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can be alerted to our next video. We'll see you again soon on Warzone.